ever look at something you've done in the past and go, Why did I do that? Why? Why? That basically sums up my entire existence. people who regularly watch my videos. Today's video is on how I'm a huge nerd. I know, shocker! Ravenclaw merch, Harry Potter pictures, books, more books, and even more books. How could you ever tell? But yeah, in all seriousness, I am a mega nerd. Yeah, I legitimately cried when I figured out there were no more Harry Potter books. It might be a bit concerning. But here are the five stages of nerd that I've gotten to. Number one! This is the, oh, this is cool. This is where you first learn what it is. Basically, you see it on some form of media, and you click on it because you think it might be interesting. And you like what you see, and you go, oh, this is cool, hence the name. So you keep continuing to click it, and you learn a lot about it. Though not enough so that you're a heavy or obsessed fan yet. This is stage number two. I call it the heavy research stage. This is where the person has accepted that they're going to be a nerd part of the fandom. So they start researching. This might be in books or it could just be plain Wikipedia. This is where they're trying to learn all the lore and everything there is to know about the fandom. It's like they're studying for an exam. This is preparing them for stage three. Number three, I know my sister like I know my own mind, you will never find. Sorry, had to, Hamilton. I call it the fandom groupie. This is a big one. You're going to call your friend because talking face to face, uh, but remember, this could make or break a friendship, so be careful. So if they do like your fandom, you do not have to kill them. But you will have to talk with them about the fandom. This is why stage two is important. Because if you do not know enough, they will not consider you as a fan. But if you continue talking enough, they will invite you to stage four. Which is a big important one because it puts you on the map of being a fan. It also means that your friendship with this person is at its maximum level. Hey guys, and this is number four. To put it simply, this one is called fan fiction. This is when you're at your darkest moment. Not yet, that's stage five. But it's where you start writing scenes of fiction between the characters that are in your fandom. It gets pretty dark and creepy depending on who you are. But for me, it's just fluff. Usually this is written a line. Da 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 Number five. I call this... The Obsessed Wannabe. This is people using the same platform that was used to inspire them to try and inspire others and failing miserably. This person, people, group may make an entire video per se about how they're a huge fan and pretend to mean it jokingly but actually be totally serious in what they're doing. This person is such a loser, and I'm so glad I'm not that. But that's the stage five, everyone. The worst stage you can get. So I hope you enjoyed the five stages to being a nerd, and I hope you could relate to a few of them. Maybe you could point at some people who are a few of them. But anyway, thank you for watching till the end, and goodbye!